so preparations made we can continue on our way and try to find the fault key in between the train wreckage over here but we enter an area called the snow blind defile we're also nearing the end of chapter one but before we can get there we're gonna fight some damaged uh, loaders so they all lost their main weapon arm so they only have the eye laser which is quite easily dodgeable i actually want to try the melee damage on this giant bladed pistol i'm gonna collect everything i come across i just equipped a new shield from the vending machine that actually increases my max hp which is why i'm not fully up on health the explosive gun is also perfect to take out limbs there we go let's just melee where we can to save up a bit of ammo before we uh, get to anything else Let's lose that. I feel like I'm doing actually more damage with the... Okay. Let's take out the repair. I don't know where, where the zoom is going on this thing. There we go. I think there was one flying around here. I don't really have grenades on surplus. So let's just go with this. Let's just go in the back. Oh, my lunch stopped me on the, underneath the... Uh, oh god. There we go. I got stuck underneath the train cart there for some reason. Wow, this thing is really inaccurate when you're not aiming it. Is there another... Oh, there's one over there. It's an XP loader, so those usually explode. There it goes. And then I wanna... There we go. Oh, he didn't actually die. And then the final one. I can actually just uh, do this with. I feel like I'm running really slowly, but... There we go. The extra damage is doing its work. Might be the snow actually blocking my uh, speed right over there. Improved second wind capability. Just increases the time you have for... Uh, well, in fight for your live mode, which is not going to be useful. Because it only increases it by 6%, which is basically nothing. Grenades, I need that. Let's stock up on grenades. Explode, explode beforehand, please. Without hitting me. There we go. Wasted a bit of ammo. Ooh, that noise keeps going. So the shield I'm actually equipping is an adaptive shield. So aside from increasing my maximum health, it also changes to give me uh, resistance to the element I've been lost hit with. So if I got hit by fire damage, my uh, fire resistance increases by 50%. And the same with every other thing I get hit by, which is going to be nice for the Terminus Plateau. Because uh, we've been leading up to this. But uh, it's time to have another uh, boss fight on our hands. Don't worry. If Jack really wanted to protect the vault key, it wouldn't be on a train. He'd have Wilhelm guarding it. So the train guard is over there, but yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, it's coming up on its own. Just gonna. Ooh. It's a trap! The vault key's not on the train. Avoid the mission, soldier. I'm sorry, but you can't handle Wilhelm. Trust You're gonna have to take out Wilhelm the shield survivors when they're coming along. Without taking a scratch. If things get bad, just run. Roland is wrong, Vault Hunter. You can defeat Wilhelm, I promise you. So Wilhelm is the guy that actually killed, well, apparently killed the original Vault Hunters. Just gonna spend my shock ammo on this guy. And then a grenade. Ooh, that's a lot of shock damage on my ass. Just gonna take care of the the Lotus while we're at it. Although the Lotus are handy to give us a, an option to fight for our lives. So Wilhelm has a lot of attacks. Because he's, uh, he's actually not a loader. If you look at him closely, it's actually a humanoid inside of a mecha mechanized suit. Oh, this, th this thing is really, really, really not good. I'm gonna have to take out the shield from VS while he's grading them. There we go. Just gonna... Set down a decoy. I missed him. Right now it's fine, not doing that bad. I think there's a... Ooh, that was that hurt. Whatever that was. 
Let's just run off. So I'm gonna keep the Lotus alive, even though they are really annoying. There we go. And then focus on his head. There we go, that's a nice shot. And I died. Okay, so now I can use my remaining ammo to shoot at the Lotus. Just focus a bit. Oh no! Yeah, there we go. So it's gonna do this. Weakness is now known to me. Time to oh, I need to reload this thing. God damn it. So again, keeping that one loaded alive. And using the rest of the shot. So I can't really dodge that, but the grenade is gonna kill the loader for a bit. There we go. And uh I think I got him. Yeah, there we go. You killed Wilhelm. Holy hell, Jack doesn't stand a chance. Wilhelm dropped a power core. Be sure to grab it. My sensors tell me it's one of a kind. Woo. If you bring it to Roland, Sanctuary's shields may never need to be recharged again. And there we go. We get a nice little uh, surprise for our efforts. The power core of Wilhelm. An experimental Hyperion power core. It should be able to keep Sanctuary shields running indefinitely so protecting it from all attacks never seen a power core like that the one you got from reese is nearly burned out why don't you bring it back here we may not have found the vault key but at least sanctuary will be safe a little longer thanks to you there we go all sounds good and that looks like a purple thing Ooh, champagne cheers high five so clown <gasps> you got the damn power core didn't you you've been warned the kid gloves are coming off. Tighten up the big boy pants because things are going to get really, really bad for you, Vault Hunters. And there we go. We get a threat. Sorry about the bad intel, everybody. I really thought the Vault Key would be on that train. I'll make it up to you all later. Next time I'm in Sanctuary, the beers are on me. What you think, Blow Wing? Hey, you drink too much. <laughs> and there we go. That's the end of that conversation. So, we got a power core in uh, exchange so the vault key was not here just to be clear the vault key was not here Wilhelm was a trap set for us and uh, now we can use that power core to just safeguard sanctuary from any further attacks which sounds pretty good as well so let's go back to sanctuary and install that power core Wilhelm nearly defeated the other vault hunters a couple of years ago you have proven yourself to be even stronger than them well done so before we install the power core, I'm actually gonna, well, do some things. So let's just shop at Earl's Furt. Uh, I have seven iridium left, so can't really do anything too useful with this. But maybe, what do I run out of? Sniper rifle bullets, probably? There we go. An extra 12 shots is always nice. Now we can turn in the quest with Hammerlock, so the Mighty Morphin quest. You helped Sir Hammerlock realize what nature, that nature isn't always beautiful, which would have been kind of poignant had his immediate reaction not been, oh god, kill all of them, you, you, you. So we got a, a simple SMG from that. Respect all of nature's creatures, but come on, I look like a pus filled scab with wings. Yes, it did. So that's Hammerlock's next quest done. And then we can actually get a new quest in the Crimson Radio Office, which is interesting. That's probably just to turn in the train to catch thing, although it's on the wrong side. I think it's supposed to be over there. Just gonna check out the weapons uh, shops. So the quest in here that's still available is probably something that Mordecai has available for. Oh no, it's still it. Got Never something mind. new for you. Mine, all oh mine. If you've ever wanted to shoot someone who says stuff like Tarnation, this is the mission for you. A gang of lowlifes is out prospecting for Iridium in the Tundra Express. I want you to find out why they're mining the stuff, and I want them dead. Order doesn't matter. So, we can do that right now, actually. So, you know what? Before we actually turn in the quest to uh, fill in the power cell, might as well do the remaining side quests in the Tundra Express, because there's a few over there, and something might happen if we install that power cell. But... Let's go back to the Tundra Express. 
So there are a few quests in here as well, mostly surrounding Tiny Tina herself, which I mean, she's an interesting character, so why not take a look at that first? So back into Tiny Tina's workshop, she has another quest for us. So she's playing a tea party. Sup, sucker? Got a very important tea party coming up and my date is missing and I am not going stag, don't even suggest it. His name is Sir Reginald Von Bartlesby, a local aristocrat and purveyor of the fine arts. I believe his mother has forbidden him from speaking with me. You will convince her to release him into my custody. <laughs> so there we go. We need to emancipate Sir Reginald because she's holding a tea party. This is actually an interesting quest because it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on into uh, in Tiny Tina's demented head. Uh, but more on that later. Let's just find Sir Reginald first. But before we do that, we have that Iridium Mine to investigate and that's actually right here. So why not do that immediately before we head uh, to Sir Reginald. So, mine. All mine. Investigate Iridium Mine. Hello, fellas. Hello, fellas. Good. Miners aren't mutated, so they aren't using the stuff themselves. Which means these guys are sending their iridium somewhere. Kill them all if they are. So I'm just gonna let the Goliath do his work. And kill whatever I can in the meantime. Okay, these guys just like tunneling on the ground. There we go, in the back. take out a few Goliaths and see what happens because we're gonna... There, that guy at least leveled up once. Or twice even. Oh god. I'm just gonna leave a few heavily damaged enemies in his way. Just gonna take out this guy myself. Or not. I think I didn't take out the rats. I think the Goliath is doing that all by himself. <laughs> Ultimate badass Goliath. I'm just gonna kill this guy almost so. The 17 level guy gets the XP of the 15 level guy. Oh wow, he didn't even level up from that. Will this be enough? I don't know. I don't know if 17 is enough. I don't know what he started at. I think he started at 14, which means that it's probably not enough. So let's go to Prospect to Seek. Is this over here? No, that's definitely not over there. Wait, is this a... Ow. I'm wondering if he gets... Ooh, no. I don't want you to kill me. You know what? I'm gonna kill him. There we go. We got all the experience he gathered while he was doing that. So, uh... Ooh, inspiring apparatus. Not bad. Not bad. Do I need to jump down here? Kill Prospector Zeke with a slag weapon. No, I can't even jump in here. That is interesting. So he must be up there somewhere. Yeah, probably in the building, so let's just get... yeah. Let's cross the machinery and see where I can get him. Oh! So I just turned this uh, lever and that triggered more bandit reinforcements. You know what? Let's try that again. There we go, almost dead. There we go, so he goes to level 15. He definitely started at... Uh, 14. So there we go, that guy's almost down. So I'm gonna jump over the minor rat, that should distract him. There we go, it's level 16. Ah, and there go another round of reinforcements, so I'm just gonna let him do that. I think he's doing fine. There we go, it's level 17. I'm gonna jump over this guy, because that's a badass. He kills that guy. There he goes. Still not. Still not. There he goes. 18. Okay, so I think I can now kill him. If I kill him now. You do need to be careful that I actually kill him. There we go. 
Yeah, there we go. The light, meet David. That's another trophy for me. Another blue weapon as well. Ooh, that is nice. I like my fire Molly 1 SMGs, and we haven't seen one of those in a while. A lot of iridium also from those guys. Just gonna have to kill this guy now. Is that your head? I think it is. Goodbye. You melt to death. There he goes. Okay, so that's the reinforcements if you uh, accidentally ring that alarm. They're not gonna, not gonna do that again, are they? That was, whew, that was heavy. Kind of got half a level from that as well. That was a bit too, ma too many enemies. Too many enemies. But let's get on top of this thing. So, parkouring my way through this thing. I need to be careful not to get crushed either. Oh god, I got the momentum from the other uh, conveyor belt, but I don't have a slack weapon. Ooh, gold. Ooh, gold nutty. Ooh, there we go, just in time, I think. Let's just get a grenade in there. I think I almost blew myself up there. Yeah, it's just kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Thank you. Now we can kill Prospector Seek. With one shot. There we go. And then uh, that Marauder. There we go. And let's just hit him in the back. And there we go. So now we can get the Zeke's Echo Recorder and check out what he knew. The Hyperion Corporation wishes to offer you and your men $3,000 for every piece of iridium delivered. With that kind of money, you could consume countless alcoholic beverages or fornicate with numerous members of the opposite or, say, sex. Whatever it is you bet. And there we go. Hey, don't feel bad about wiping these idiots out. I guarantee you Hyperion would have done the same after the mine dried up. Go check with Tina. She's got a job for you. She probably has a point. So now we can actually head back to Tina and get another uh, side quest from her. So good thing we did that in this order. We need to kind of pass Tina's anyway when we're uh, heading towards the, well, Sir Reginald to emancipate him from his mother. So I uh, might as well turn this in and see what other quest she has in this mine-related venture of ours. So you discover the bandit miners are selling their iridium to Hyperion, presumably under the mistaken assumption that Hyperion won't eventually massacre the lot of them and take their money back. If anything, you just help the miners skip the middleman. Yo, 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 let's blow stuff up! There we go. Lilith told me there's a train full of money comes around here. Sounds like a job for high explosives, am I right? Am I right? Yeah? Whatever. I got some bullets yes. in the back. Get them. Okay. More dynamite from Tina. 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 There we go. Things that go boom. Let's grab all that. Those miners you fought earlier were paid cash in exchange for iridium. Get to the station where their payroll train comes in. We'll have ourselves a good old-fashioned train robbery. So that's the station we're going to pass on our way to Reginald, I think. I should check out the quest log. Yeah, so we're passing the train robbery first before we get to Sir Reginald, because this uh, uh, Tina's quest is actually spread out through the entire area, and we've only seen parts of this area just yet. So that is right over here. We haven't been here yet. What was that? That was sniper rifle bullets. Nothing to worry about. That's a loot! A loot, Goliath! Use Tina's dynamite to blast the exit gate and block the tracks. There we go, just looping around a bit. I'm just gonna throw a grenade over there because I feel like there's enemies spawning in my back. Midget escaped. I don't think I can actually get up there. So let's just... Get underneath his shield there, there we go. This gun is actually not half bad. God damn it. 
Oh, it is really inaccurate though. So the bigger the targets, the better, but... Ah, oh, we don't need to be special with you anymore. There we go. Just gonna move forward a bit, because I feel like these guys are gonna keep spawning. Is that another Goliath? God damn, so I can play on this thing. And it's pretty much the same thing as the... Uh, in Sanctuary. But it's on the go. Let's play a few times with this thing, I'm really... Won okay. I think they shot it to death. That was annoying. You can also have Goliaths that actually have weapons chests on their back, but we haven't seen any of those just yet, have we? Okay, you wanted to shoot at me? Shoot at me. There we go. Okay. And there we go. Goodbye, Nomadic. Unless there's other... This guy is annoying me to the Oh, God. That's not good. There we go. I'm gonna call the train while we're going. Oh, we're planting explosives. Right, forgot about that. So, let's blow the gates. There we go. That dislodges it. That'll leave the train nowhere to go. Now all you gotta do is signal Hyperion and make like you're ready to sell some original. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, Hyperion. Trade request received. Payroll train dispatched. So let's gather those weapons, because uh, we know Hyperion wanted to actually take out these bandits after they got the uh, the iridium from them. There it is. But it has to stop, because we closed the gauge. I mean, I love the little mechanics they had in for these side quests. So let's... Exposing cash vaults. Please load iridium shipment onto the train. Um, let's use Better the idea. remaining dynamite. Put the rest of Tina's explosives on those safes and watch the fireworks. There we go. Let's stand back a bit, because this might be big. Three, two, one. Make it run. Ooh, look at that. that Money! Dispatching troops to payroll train number 627. Get back to Tina whenever you're done dealing with those Hyperion reinforcements, killer. Good job, all around. Um, guys, th I suppose thanks for that, but... Let's just use the, um... The Corrosive Sniper Rifle. So they don't like, uh... Corrosive. There we go. That's a really elaborate explosion. There we go. Let's get all the money. I want to leave some money behind. I know I left a few things behind, but I want to do that again. So now we can turn back to Tina if we want to, but we don't want to yet because I want to go get Reginald while we're at it as well. So, Reginald. So Reginald is only one of the many illustrious guests who will be attending my tea party. I have also invited Princess Fluffybutt, who has gazillions like you would not believe. Her Enhances malleability, but only by 5.2%, so that's not much. So yeah, he's only the first guest that we're gonna invite, which is which is kind of nice, right? So let's just uh, go check on the tea party and uh, get Reginald first. But we need to free him from his mother, because of course, yeah, mothers can be annoying. What? Ooh, this is this is kind of weird. Is that a, a, Zel, a Princess Zelda reference? Kind of, I never noticed this. That's Zelda's outfit, isn't it? One of the Princess Zelda's outfit, but I think it is. So, emancipate Sir Reginald. He's apparently living in this uh, frosty mountain over here. So let's just take a look. I'm just going to have to get rid of these uh, bugs. Like you do, by whacking him. Whacking him all around. So this is a peculiar place to have a house. Right next to a varket nest, isn't it? So more varkets when we're going up. But uh, according to the arrows, we're still on the right track. They got a lot of money from that bank heist, by the way. Just gonna... Just gonna... Goodbye! Oh, wow, that was really dramatic. 
So, more buckets. Excuse Madame Von Bartlesby's disposition. She's Welsh. So, uh, that's Madame Von Bartlesby. She's a, a mutant varkid. I vanish. Ow. And she can one hit me. Good. There we go. Where the hell did she go now? Let's just get close with the shotgun. There we go. You stuck up, bitch! Now go get Sir Reginald, we have so many things to discuss. So, Sir Reginald is supposedly on her body somewhere, or not. Where, where is he? Where is he? He's supposed to be here somewhere. Oh, he's in the nest, here. Look at that, it's a glass jar with a small varket inside and a mustache, monocle and top hat. You got Sir Reginald! Now I just need you to find Princess Fluffy Butt and get me some scrap metal from the buzzard so you can make me a teapot. Just blow up some buzzards and pick up the flamey bits. There we go. So blow, blow up some buzzards. Oh, and feel free to get some crumpets on the way. Crumpets are crook! Yeah, she's kind of losing her mind, isn't it? Isn't she? Crumpets. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Hey, you. Yeah, you. There we go. No scope. I think that was one of the flaming bits. That looks like a teapot, right? There we go. That's only one of them, though. So we're going to have to shoot a few other ones. Um, crumpets. Well, let's just take care of the, the buzzards first, because they're going to spawn in here. There we go. Um, up, up. I mean, it's very convenient that they're all dropping their parts on top of me, but... I mean, they can make it a bit harder. I think... One of them is going to spawn another one. If I manage to hit him, that is. I think I hit him a few times. He's at least corrosive. Ooh, wow. That was really aggressive. Did that part fly off the map? I think it flew off the map. There we goes. Ow. Jesus. Will you stop? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Hi. There it is. Don't fall off. That's enough scrap metal to make a teapot. Shouty, you the best. You the you the best. I know. I'm the best. I'm not, not really a shorty because I'm I'm actually pretty tall. I'm actually look. He's he's a cyber ninja. He's pretty tall. So let's just. I don't know if this is. Oh yeah, that's Princess Fluffy Butt. I kind of bossed her accidentally. You know Princess Fluffy Butt. Yes. This party's gonna be off the chisel for rizzle! Off the chisel for rizzle, but I need to pick up the crumpets. Can't forget about the crumpets now, can I? The crumpets are in the, the buzzard camp, of course. Because they are, and I don't know why I'm talking uh, British all of a sudden. Must be because of the tea party. And the shotguns to the face. Ah, it's over there. Excuse me, bandits, you are carrying Tina's crumpets. There we go. I'm just picking them up. No need to start shooting at me. So, there we go. Crumpets. The chosen dish of people who say things like, I beg to differ, and how positively droll. How hilarious. You just set off my trap card. Your death Goodbye, gift from me. Thank you for the crumpets. I killed 420 marauders already. That's a painful number, but let's get back to Tina. Next time on Borderlands 2, we attend the craziest tea party you've ever seen. We